Hey there, we are Teaching Tilt Brush, and this class is all about the audio brushes. We've seen all the main brushes in action, but now we're going to look at this audio brush feature, which actually has your painting react to music and sounds that are playing. So for this one, you can see with our normal state, we've got our normal brushes, but we're going to bring in some music and activate the audio brush panel as well. So Maestro, if we could have a little music in here. We'll see how this works. All right, something nice and smooth. So you'll notice when I click on our audio brushes, it's automatically going to look for whatever sound is playing. And once it picks up your sound source, that's going to jump into, ah, and there's the music. So now when we start looking, all of our brushes, some of them have a little tiny sound icon in the corner to let you know which brushes are normal and which ones will actually react to the sound that's playing. For some of them, the reaction is simple. It just pulses in time to the music. So as we sit here, you can see these uh, lines are just gonna flicker with the bass or whatever pulse beat is going with your music itself. So on our first panel, the only one that's really reactive is our corner soft highlights. And their animation is to pulse in time with the music. So you can see many of the brushes are going to have an audio reaction. Some of them are simple pulsing. Things like the light sources are just going to pulse in time with the beat. Both the highlight and the light source. Same with things like fire can see the core of the fire now has a little vibration. If I turn off the sound, normal fire. But when we pick up the sound again, if you watch the core of the fire, it adds that animation. It adds the sound itself. There it is. Let's switch some colors here and look at some of these other brushes. Light and fire. Embers are also going to pulse to the music, so I'll get some embers going in the front here. And you can see they're flickering, tries to time out with whatever music you've got playing in the background. Same with things like snow and stars. They're all just pulsing in time to the music. So as the music plays, the whole environment is moving in time to the music. Some of them are a little more specific. We've seen the rainbow is just a set of colors, but in this version, the rainbow is almost like an equalizer, where you've got the music itself controlling how many lines, how many colors. So you can actually build up pictures using these different effects, and the whole picture will react to your music. Velvet ink is another one of our standard pulsing colors here. We'll keep those together so you can see how they're all going in time to the music. Waveform is the actual sine wave of the music itself. Let's get it down where you can see it. So depending on your music, if you only draw it short, you can see the line a little more clearly, but if you draw it long, it stretches out the notes to be what's playing. That's the waveform, and several others will follow that pattern. Page three, Dr. Wiggles, if you remember, that was an animated one. So it just times the animation the music that's playing. Same with things like electricity. Let's use a better electricity color here. You can see how when the music picks up, the whole lightning flickers in time to that music. Streamers, neon pulse, they're all affected by the timing of the music itself. And as the music plays, the lines shoot by in time to the music. Put those over here. Hypergrid's a fun one because not only is it an interesting brush to play with, but the way it moves to the music, it still follows the line you've drawn, but you can see how the little squares sort of advance and move their way around as the music is playing. The more you have filled in with this guy, the more motion you see as the music is playing. That's our hypergrid. Light wires are Christmas lights, and the Christmas lights, again, are just going to move in time to the music. So if I make them small and small lights, you can see the lights are moving in time as the beats of the music go through. Light wire. Chromatic wave is very similar to our sine wave, very similar to the way the music plays, 
but it also adds color to it. So it moves and shimmers and slides along. It's combining the, the waveform with the color variation as well. So if I actually paint this in different colors, you can see whatever color you choose is the dominant color, and the animation plays through it as it's going along. That's our chromatic wave. Dots is another standard pulse in time with the light. So I'm gonna get it over here, and we'll get some dots going. And what's fun with the dots, it's kind of hard to see in this example, we'll see if we can get some uh, more music as it goes, but it actually progresses these little waves as the music goes. Here it comes again. So those little jumpinesses, it's actually a pulse moving down the dots as the music plays. That's the animation for the dots brush. Dots brush. These are all based on the music that's playing. On our final page, we've only got a couple. So let's get over here. You can see with our tune, it also progresses the sound along the line as the music plays. Same with our disco. It moves in time to the music. And the comets. It animates the comets' tails in time to the music. So these are the audio brushes and all the different ways we can use, whoops, let's get my grips going here, to have your actual painting go in time to the music. It'll pick up any music. If you want it to animate to audiobooks, you can do it that way as well. But all these pieces are synced to animate with the audio brush. Here's how they look normally. Static, moving smoothly. But when you've got the audio going, and you'll see when it gets picked up, all the audio suddenly jumps and starts picking to the music itself. That's the audio brushes. That's what we're teaching this week. I'm teaching Tilt Brush. Audio brushes, I hope you have a lot of fun playing with these guys. I'm gonna see if I can get to a blank screen here. We've got so many audio things playing. Each week we do a different set of tools, so feel free to come back. In the comments below, feel free to let us know if you've got any questions. We do this all the time. Let's see if we can make this legible this time. And we'll be back with more Teaching Dill Brush. Thanks for joining us.